Thanks, Pankaj. Good evening, everyone. After the insightful sessions from Jairam on the retail side, Yash on the wholesale side, Kalpesh on alternatives, and Pankaj on the insurance, uh, where each business spoke about how they are going to build up the business in a more diversified, granular, and more specialized manner. I'm here to talk to about how the numbers look like at the consolidated level. Our lending AUM, what we are expecting is it's going to grow 2x by FY28. We are at 64,000 crores of an AUM. We are expecting our AUM to touch 1,20,000 to 1,30,000 crores by FY28, which translates into a CAGR of 15% at the consolidated level. While we are hearing, Jairam, we know how retail is being expanding. And from 34,000, they are now going to build up uh, close to 85 to 90,000 crores. With that growth, uh, we are expecting retail to grow at 23% CAGR over the next five years. As we can see from the chart, we were at one third, two third when we immediately after the acquisition of DHFL, we touched 50-50 as of March 23. We are already at 54-45 by Q1, and we expect 60 to 40 by the end of this financial year. One thing uh, which has come up uh, in all the businesses is uh, everyone talks about building the diversified but keeping the risk at the core. And the three key operating matrices that's going to help the businesses, the lending business to drive their efficiencies are NII, OPEX, and the credit cost. Uh, we are expecting NII to go up by 300 basis point from 6.2% to 8.5 to 9%. OPEX to asset that's currently at 3.1%, we're expecting it will touch to 2.7 to 3% in the next five years. Uh, this will happen primarily because of the entire shift, but we are doing it from third, one third to two third. We are moving two third to one third, two third retail, one third wholesale. Credit cost, we have already taken a lot of credits and that's what we have been talking about. We have been adequately provided for as far as the credit cost is concerned. We are looking at the steady state credit cost of 1.7 to 1.8%. With this, we are looking at the core ROA, excluding all these extraordinary gains uh, at around 3 to 3.3% uh, by FY28, with a PAT of 4,600 crores. And the total assets to equity ratio as 3.7%, 3.7 times as against 2.5. Uh, Rupin spoke about we have the ability to uh, enter into the opportunistic M&A and also to go for more corporate actions. These uh, ROAs are without considering any of those actions. So we have the ability to further improve the ratios as we go ahead in our journey of building the diversified, uh, most preferred NBFCs. Thank you. Over to Anand for the closing remarks.